Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of You Can Do STEM. My name is Carolina Herrera and I am a Pathology and Translational Science PhD student at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill. In this video I'm going to talk about my path to graduate school and how I became interested in science and I'm also going to give you some tips for getting into college and graduate school. So I'll start with how I got interested in science. So I liked science since middle school, but I became more interested in it when I got to high school. I enjoyed learning topics such as molecular biology, human physiology, and DNA replication in my biology courses. And since I liked biology so much, I thought a relevant career would be to be a medical doctor. And so my freshman year of high school, I started volunteering at my local hospital and I asked to shadow doctors around. And I really enjoyed it and I thought I was set on becoming a doctor. Um, however, this all changed when I did my first biomedical research internship the summer before my senior year of high school. My brother's friend in undergrad had told him about a research internship she had done in high school called the Latino and African American High School Internship Program at the Children's Hospital in Los Angeles. So I looked up this internship and I applied. Um, I went to public schools all my life and we didn't have any resources for students interested in science. And I didn't really know what biomedical research was. And so I was really curious when I found this program and I applied and I fortunately got in along with 15 other uh, students from around Southern California from underrepresented backgrounds like me. And I started doing uh, biomedical research the summer before my senior year of high school. The first time I walked into a lab, I remember that my eyes lit up. There were so many test tubes and machines everywhere, and I was excited and nervous at the same time. And coming from the public school that I did, I never thought I would get an opportunity like this. I joined a gastroenterology lab where I undertook a project in which I studied the role of epidermal growth factor in inflammatory bowel disease. And my lab mentors taught me many valuable techniques such as cell culture, PCR, and Western blot. And I thought it was really cool that I was applying what I had learned from my high school textbooks to actual science in the lab. Doing research for the first time was a huge learning curve for me, um, but I had really supportive mentors in the lab who helped me through every step of the way, and they helped me how to apply the scientific method to my research and they also helped me to learn how to read um, scientific articles, which was really hard for me at first. Through LA Hip, not only did I learn valuable research techniques, but I also found a group of motivated and supportive high school students who are also interested in science and who came from similar cultural backgrounds in low-income schools like me. The LA Hip program also provided SAT preparation for my peers and I, and they also helped us with the application process to college. I'm grateful that I had this experience in high school because it ignited my passion for scientific research. So with the support of my family and my mentors, I was accepted to the University of California, Irvine, where I pursued a Bachelor of Science in Public Health Sciences. Since I knew I wanted to continue exploring the research path, when I got into UC Irvine, I applied to do research under the Initiative for Maximizing Student Development. And this is a paid research internship by the National Institutes of Health, and it encourages underrepresented students to pursue undergraduate research. I was extremely fortunate to get into this program, and I started research the summer before my sophomore year of undergrad. And I did research in a microbiology lab where I identified antibiotic resistance genes in E. coli from aquatic environments around Southern California. Through this IMSD program, my peers and I got to go to the annual biomedical research conference for minority students and the American Association for the Advancement of Science National Conferences. And through these conferences, I got exposed to the different kinds of research that was going on nationwide, and I also got to learn how to communicate my scientific findings by presenting a scientific poster. Under the umbrella of the minority science programs at UC Irvine, my mentors encouraged me to apply to the MERT program, or the Minority Health and Health Disparities International Research Training Program. And this is also a program that's funded by the NIH. And I was extremely lucky to be accepted into this program along with five of my peers from UC Irvine. 
and we were all sent to Madrid, Spain to do research at the Centro de Biología Molecular Severo Ochoa. So I conducted research in a vaccine development and immunology lab, and I hardly knew anything about immunology. I only knew that the immune system was a system that protects your body against infection, um, so this was a huge learning curve yet again. And you'll find that in most research experiences, um, but you can always take what you've learned from past experiences and apply it to your current research project. So my lab mentor gave me an immunology textbook and I became more familiar with the topic and things seemed a little less scary to me. And I also learned many virology and immunology lab techniques that I could apply to my research project. And briefly for my project, I studied the mechanisms by which immune cells called T cells can identify cells that are infected with virus. And it's important for your immune cells to find which cells are infected with virus in order for them to kill them and get rid of the infection. I conducted research for two and a half months alongside wonderful scientists in Madrid. And this research experience taught me new scientific techniques, but most importantly, I found my passion for immunology and this experience solidified my passion for biomedical research. After coming back from Spain, I transitioned into the Minority Access to Research Careers, or MARC program, at the start of my junior year. And through the MARC program, I got to conduct immunology research. And for my last two years at UC Irvine, I studied the role that the immune system plays in the development of obesity and associated diseases like diabetes. Through this program, I attended another conference to present my research, and I also attended weekly journal clubs to get more familiar with the scientific literature in my field. So besides research, I was also a part of the Public Health Association at UCI. And through this club, we did a lot of health outreach activities, and we also put on um, career panels for undergraduates. And we also did fun extracurriculars like going hiking and other fun socials um, because sometimes you just need to de-stress in college. Um, and yes, college can get very stressful, but as long as you find the right um, support group, friends, and mentors, um, there's a way to make it through. The summer before my senior year of undergrad, it was time to start thinking about graduate school. And I knew I wanted to go to graduate school because I wanted to continue doing research and I knew I wanted to work towards my goal of getting a PhD in biomedical research. Through the MARC program and with the help of my wonderful mentors, um, I started to prepare to take the GRE exam and I started to prepare um, to write my personal statements for my PhD applications. The application process was very stressful because I was still taking classes in undergrad and I, it was also stressful because I was fearful that I was not gonna get in anywhere um, and that fear really comes through when you're doing those applications. Um, but as long as you have your family and supportive mentors to tell you that you can do it, um, there's a way to finish those applications and there's a way to hold out hope to hear back from these schools. So I heard back from a few schools in December and January uh, of my senior year of undergrad. Um, and I went to interview at those schools. Um, but I ended up going to the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill um, because I really fell in love with the school when I went to interview and I knew that there was a lot of um, research labs that I was interested in. Long story short, I came to the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill and the first year of grad school I did three lab rotations in which I rotated in three different labs and at the end of that year, I chose to uh, stay in one lab to do my thesis work. And um, now I'm at the UNC Kidney Center and I'm doing research on an autoimmune disease called ankyovasculitis. And I'm trying to identify the immunological causes behind this autoimmune disease. So all in all, my experiences since high school and undergrad and my coursework have provided me with a foundation to develop as a scientist and to continue learning in graduate school. I want to become a scientist because I like learning new things every day and I want to try to find answers to the challenging problems that could potentially improve human health. My road to graduate school wasn't easy, but I had family and mentors who supported me, who believed in me, and who challenged me along the way. And I was also lucky to have a community of diverse peers 
who inspired me and supported me and who know what it's like to be one of the first ones to go to college and graduate school. Now I just want to leave you with a few tips. Um, so number one, um, it's never too early to start looking for opportunities. So whether you're interested in science, technology, engineering, or math, there are available opportunities out there for you. And my fellow colleagues will cover summer research opportunities in their next videos. Number two, if you're interested in science, immerse yourself in different research projects to find out what you're interested in. So for example, I liked all my research projects, but I knew I wanted to pursue immunology when I did my research abroad. Number three, do extracurriculars in high school and in college to build your leadership skills. Number four, Never be afraid to apply to research programs, colleges, or graduate programs. Keep working hard, focus on your goals, and take advantage of the opportunities around you. I hope this video was helpful, and if you have any questions, please email us using the email found in the description down below. Thank you for watching, and remember, you can do STEM! Mm -hmm.